What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, uh, you know I've been, I did a video on uh, Tiffany Henyard and, you know, like the mayor of Dalton, Tiffany Henyard. And just her giving people out there the blues. They want her out of office. She's trying to fight to stay in office. It's a big scandal and all, all of that stuff. But uh, thinking of, uh, speaking about scandal, right? You know, there was some type of uh, allegations of some misconduct when they went out there in Vegas. And some of the people were coming at Tiffany Hainer saying, you know, she's not addressing it. And there's a victim involved in this, you know, that has a, a lawsuit. All this is known, guys, but the person that they're naming as the one that did the assault. When I heard this, I couldn't believe it. And I'm sure a lot of you uh, won't neither. But then again, nowadays, with the way news is, nothing surprises us. I want you to pay attention to this and uh, we'll come back and talk about it. Take a look at this, y'all. Don Andrew Holmes has been a familiar face in Chicago for many years for his work as a community activist helping crime victims and police. But now, Holmes is being accused of sexual assault in a lawsuit filed late last night by a former employee of the village of Dalton and a Dalton police officer. In addition to his work as a community activist, Holmes serves as a trustee for the village of Dalton. The civil lawsuit against the village of Dalton, Thornton Township, Tiffany Henyard, and Holmes himself alleges that Holmes sexually assaulted a Dalton Village employee while on a village business trip to Las Vegas in May of 2023. According to the lawsuit, the employee had drinks with Holmes, whom she thought of as an uncle, then passed out in Holmes' hotel room. The lawsuit alleges Holmes then called Dalton Police Chief Byron Miles, who was on the trip as part of Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard's security detail. According to the lawsuit, quote, Holmes began describing a host of his exploits from the trip, many of a sexual nature to Officer Miles. At some point during his rant, Trustee Holmes made reference to him engaging in sexual activities with a Dalton Thornton employee, and there was some suggestion that the employee may not have had the ability to consent and or did not provide consent. The lawsuit says Officer Miles then began recording the phone call and FaceTimed Holmes. Trustee Holmes then panned the camera toward the bed where Officer Miles could see a woman who was partially undressed. The trustee then moved the camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on screen and at times moving or removing articles of clothing as he transmitted the images. The lawsuit alleges when the woman woke up, she couldn't remember anything that happened the night before and was not aware of the alleged assault until informed by Officer Miles when they returned to Dalton. The lawsuit alleges that when the female employee became aware of what allegedly happened, she requested to speak to Mayor Henyard. Henyard allegedly told the woman, quote, if the information got out, Henyard would be ruined and all of the work she had done would be lost. Despite assurances that Henyard would handle the situation, the lawsuit alleges the female employee was eventually fired by the village of Dalton. Officer Miles alleges his duties were diminished and he faced retaliation at work. Now, we spoke briefly to Holmes this afternoon, who said he had, quote, no response at this time, not to these allegations. I'm not bothered by it. Las Vegas police have reportedly launched an investigation into the allegations. The lawsuit accuses Henyard, the village of Dalton, and Thornton Township, where Henyard's supervisor, of attempting to cover up the alleged assault and retaliating against the employees for reporting it. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot has been hired by the four trustees who oppose Henyard to conduct an investigation into corruption in Dalton, including now these allegations surrounding Andrew Holmes. Man, when I first seen that, I was like, man, say it ain't so, man. Because, I mean, I don't know Andrew Holmes, but I got a lot of respect for him because it seems like he was really doing some good things in the community. And he was well respected in the Chicago area. And uh, I don't want to judge, I mean, because, like, He's named in the lawsuit and they're saying he's the one that did did that. Who am I to say that the lady's lying? You know what I'm saying? Because she's the victim. But I mean, until this stuff gets sorted out, his name is caught up in something that's a bad look for him. And it's a bad look for, uh, you know, Tiffany Henry, which she can't look no better because she out there wilding out. But I mean, come on, man. That's heartbreaking. Seriously. You seen the guy, he had medals. The guy's been uh, 
recognized in the community as somebody that people turn to and somebody seemed like he genuinely cares. The allegations they said, talking about he told the police chief, showed him the video, the girl knocked out on the bed, he's showing the body parts. I don't know how to call this, man. But I mean, it's a serious investigation. His name is caught up in it. She said it just got out. Tiffany Henyard, the mayor, said he got out there ruin her. So this might have explained why she tried to quickly push the person out, out the, uh, the lady out of the thing that had came up with the sexual allegations. But I don't see why she would have some type of reason to lie if she was drugged and all of that type of stuff. But then again, I mean, cases like this, stuff like this, until more facts come out, you never know. But I mean, I'm not going to discredit her because I don't see with this guy looking like a guy with good character, why she would implicate him. If she didn't say she looked at him like an uncle. So the betrayal might be the motivating factor in why his name is caught up in there because of what she say he did or thinks that he did. Either way, that's a bad look. You out there in Vegas and off of taxpayer dollars at that. And this is what you do. Somebody gets victimized. This guy's name's in the, in the thing. I mean, you know, it's politics, though, y'all. We got to look at it for what it is. It's politics. One hand wash the other. Do I believe the guy is guilty? I don't know. I don't know him. You know, but I mean, the allegations are serious. And pending an investigation by the right people that are trustworthy, the, the, the truth will come out. Said they tried to get in contact with him. He said he has no comment. So I'm sure he's lawyered up. Him, Tiffany, Hen and, and I think but they, who else they named in that lawsuit. So none of them are going to talk to the public. So a lot of people are saying, oh, well, he need to come out and talk to the public. No, we don't. No, we don't. He don't need to say anything because he has a lawyer. And the lawyer tell you, hey, gag, don't say nothing. Either way, man, this is a bad look. It shouldn't even be in a position where this guy right here, the mayor and this lady, all three of them are caught up in something negative. It's not a good look at all. This woman's in power and this stuff happens under her watch. Then supposedly she acted like, you know, she worried about her reputation because she was already on the hot seat and kindly opened the door and booted the lady out that was victimized. Make it make sense. Either way, man, I guess they'll get down to the bottom of it. But I mean, with her having a corrupt nature and wanting to fight for her position. I wouldn't expect nothing but some crazy ass tactics. Just sad that this guy is caught up in the middle because, you know, I respected him and I still respect him until. The truth is found out. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe. It's heartbreaking that this even comes up, man, for real. Everybody want to be leaders, but don't have no leadership skills. Just want to take. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.